Hi, I'm Dave, and today we're going to be looking at the Machina Micro Mark III in Ableton. So the first thing we're going to do is click on your plugins, and under VSTs we go to Machina 2, double click. What this is actually going to do is load up the Machina software as a plugin. The first thing we're going to do is load up a group as usual. So we can click search, audition, and then we just click it to load. Just turn off the search. And we've got all the sounds there we need. I want to be able to record me playing live. So there's a few things that we need to do. First of all, on the group, we're going to click up here, and then the group, input, and we're going to change the key mode to manual. And then we can just close this. Next thing we need to do is put the micro into MIDI mode. So we just hold shift and press the icon, and we've turned it into MIDI mode. But we can still play all the samples. Now we just treat it as a normal piece of hardware that's in Ableton. Okay, stop there. And we can highlight them all, quantize. Okay. And I'm just gonna move that one over there. So I'm just gonna make that into 16. So we've got That bass sounds epic. Next thing we're going to do, we're going to do exactly the same thing. We're going to go down to the MIDI, arm it, and then double click on Machina. And what you'll notice, it instantly changes back, ready to load another um, group or sample. So search. Clap. Let's try this one, it sounds fun. Okay, let's have a go. Take it off search first. Okay, so I like that shaker. So we're going to change it as before group input key mode down to manual. Put it into MIDI. Have you picked up my triplets? Just make that down there. Okay, I like the off feel. So what we've got so far. Yeah, digging that. Next, we don't have any more um, MIDI, so we're gonna right click and create a MIDI track, or you can use a shortcut. Just drag it up one, and we're gonna double click. And again, it instantly changes back, instantly arms. This time we're gonna do something different. We're going to search. Pick something at random. Okay, let's get that. Now, what would happen normally now, if we go into keyboard mode, that's what would happen. But we're gonna go in pad mode. This time, we're not gonna change this key mode. We're gonna leave it as is. And what happens when you turn it into MIDI, it actually does a lower version of the of the keyboard mode. So Yeah, like that. So I'm going to duplicate it and drag that to every other one. And that's another way of using it. Then what we're going to do is load up another MIDI. And this time we're going to load up a sound. So again, search Let's load up a Daphne, that's my nan's name. And again, I'm not gonna change anything. So let's give it a go. Again. Let's just quantize this and see what it sounds like. 
just going to drag this back to number one. I actually quite like these being off, so I'm going to move them over. Okay, cool. Another way of using Machina into Ableton is we're going to, again, load up a MIDI track. Let's drag this up to the top. And let's load up Machina. And let's get something I really like. I like these sounds here, so let's, I can double click that. This time I'm actually going to put it into keyboard mode. So I'm going to replicate a bit of the uh, bass line that I was doing. And this time I'm going to record it into Machina. Okay, so we're going to hit record here and in here. Okay, turn it off. This time we're going to delete that. We don't need that anymore. We're going to select all and we can quantize these. I'm going to click here and hold it. And this is actually going to turn it all into a MIDI pattern. So click that and then drag it into here. And you're going to say, do you want to import the tempo and time signature? Yep, I'm happy with that because they both match up anyway. So first off, what I'm going to do is I'm now going to highlight all these and delete them otherwise they'll play in the background which i don't want and then you just drag this back up okay and you'll be able to hear it okay get rid of that one great okay just a few more left let's load another midi let's load another machina let's go to search let's pick um let's, let's pick some sound effects Let's pick a drone, a nice drone. You can hear us a lot higher than the audition. So what we can do is put it into keyboard mode and change this. So I want a nice low drone. Okay, let's stop that and we're going to highlight that and just quantize it just quickly. I'm just going to drag it all the way to the end here as well. Okay, and what I'm going to do this time is even though we're in MIDI, I'm going to select this one, which means I can export it as audio. So you've got the, your initial cue there and I'm just going to double click it and you see it says 80 there. So unwarp it and then rewarp it and it will go to the um, same tempo. And because we recorded it in 120, that's absolutely fine. And then I'm going to slice this down a little bit. There we go. And I'm going to duplicate that all the way through. So I'm going to turn it right down and then I'm going to click back on here and get rid of it. Otherwise, it's going to um, go over the top of it so we can hear it. And that will act as a normal audio file. Now you can do whatever you want with that. Lastly, we can use this MIDI mode as a normal controller. So what we can do is we can pick just a normal sound. And again, I'm going to turn this down. There we've got a 16 bar pattern. You can create whatever you want. And also, if you do want to change something, um, let's just say, for instance, we want to change uh, this one here. And then what we can do is we can physically drag and drop different instruments. So say, for instance, we don't like that bass drum. What we can do instead, go to sounds, go to drums, go to kicks, and then we can pick something else. So we can just drag that into here. and it changes the feel completely. 
So this is just some of many ways to be able to use Machina as a plugin in a door, plus the Micro Mark III as a MIDI controller. Hopefully that's given you some ideas, and I'll see you next time.